Hi everyone. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the channel. So my name's Holly, energy reader, psychic medium, and I like to start with the vibe that I'm picking up for the day. Um, I like to do these a day in advance uh, just because it makes it easier for me, but um, this is your Monday reading, and I feel like this is going to carry us through the entirety of the week, if not longer. I feel like um, some of my readings have a timestamp for sure, and, I, and I'll tell you that. Um, but I feel like this one is going to fall under that timeless category that whenever you see it is when you need to see it because the energy is very distinct that I'm picking up. And started out with my mermaid mug. Isn't that cool? And on the inside, it says, live the life you imagine. Hmm. Now, I feel this, I feel like what I need to say and what I, what, when I ask spirit for the message, the vibe, the energy, it's that it's, I feel like we've all been holding on to a lot of fear. It is time to let go of the fear. It is time I keep hearing the word resolve. So it's time for us to stand in our strength, um, stand with resolute authority in our own lives. And fear is going to cause a big stumbling block. Okay, to, to make more sense of that, um, I got the best surprise uh, last night. Actually, I didn't get it until this morning. I didn't see it until this morning, but best surprise ever. Um, a friend sent me, who doesn't live in the same city, but she sent me um, a deck of cards that I mentioned that I that I wanted to get by Rebecca Campbell, and it's the um, the Healing Waters Oracle. Such a beautiful, beautiful deck. This is the bottom part of the box, so you can even use it for readings and stuff like, or just as a card holder. I mean, it's just so cool in every way possible. And when I was flipping through and looking at the deck, this one jumped out with so much energy. And it's not that it went flying out of the deck, but I actually felt a resonance. I felt an energetic pull come from it. And I thought, oh, wow. So this is where we are. This is helping this will help to make sense and i'm getting right in my third eye around that chakra it is lighting up so we are on the verge and the cusp of something new i feel like it's going to be in our own personal lives and then that will then lead us and give us the strength to do other bigger things in other areas but there's um the word change the word change is going to be significant for pretty much all of 2025. Now, that could be good or bad. Uh, I think it's going to be a little of both, but uh, more so in the along the lines of trying change and rewarding change. Well, hey, little baby. And so I, I do get energetically that around this word change, and I'll show you this card in just a second, when we release fear around any change or decisions that we make, and this is going to be at a personal level first, and then it will ripple outward. When we make decisions on a personal level that will impact change in our lives, whether it's where we live, how we live, uh, priorities will shift and change. That's been coming up a lot too. But when it happens, because it's going to happen full on, um, it's okay to take responsibility for the changes you want to see enacted within your own life and in the area around you because it's going to be important not to sit back and waifishly say, oh, well, I'll just take whatever comes. No. This is the time to say what you want, say what you need, expect it, see it come to fruition, because these are the changes that we are going to enact. Okay, so the card that I saw 
interestingly, says, follow the stream, which sounds like that wayfish voice saying, well, I'll just take whatever drifts to me. But then when you read underneath when it says follow the stream, it's dedication, trust, future rivers and oceans. So this sense of body of water. Okay, and I know it's the healing waters, but there's there are a whole lot of cards in here that are not necessarily dealing with their water images on the card, but they don't reference water. So follow the stream in this instance means where you put your energy is what you will bring to you. And that's not bl victim blaming, because I, you know, I have a, if you've ever watched me at all, you know, I have a, a, a problem to a degree with this whole sense of, um, well, you thought it, so you must have manifested it. Yeah, that's that's true to a degree, but it also sounds a little bit like victim blaming to me, and I am not down with that at all. So um, sometimes we react. We need the goal is to try to act rather than react. But we need to stand firm and let go of fear. Stand firm in where we are and our expectations and our boundaries. That, if people know how to treat us and what we will expect, then they won't try any of these shenanigans, right? Well, no, they'll try, but it won't work. And it's also time to partner up with each other. That means we need to link arms with each other and there needs to be a solidarity of thought and mind. Thought or thought words and, and, and actions, okay? So that's what that means. That's what I'm getting. But it starts at the individual level. It starts at the personal level. It starts within. That's a big message. That is a really big message. Okay, now. Let's see if there's anything else in here that Spirit Guides and Guardians. I feel like nature energies. Yeah, nature energies. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there are two here. Oh. Okay. So the first one is the pearl. Alchemy. The reward at the end from grit to grace. And I've said this before. A pearl is formed as a, as a grain or a grit, gritty substance in the mollusk that is an irritant. The mollusk coats it and coats it and keeps coating it with layers internally to cushion soften it. And it ends up the nacre that creates a beautiful pearl. Now, the other card, oh, let me show you. So we are born in adversity. And they're saying to go ahead and say it. All right, this is a time of adversity. But we are individually the pearls. And think about when we string together, if we link arm in arm, we become that strand of pearls. We are going to turn adversity into beauty. I fully believe that. It's going to take a little while. It won't happen overnight, but it's going to happen. The next card is Mother of the Salt Waters. Passion, wild love, open your heart, let love in. You, you know that phrase, stay wild, moon child? Yeah. Um, this is not the time to be that demure waif. And just, just happy for anything anyone will give me. That's a little tiny voice. No, use your voice. Be strong. Have an opinion. You know, it's like a house cat. This is a little teeny tiny house cat. And I had a vet one time tell me that pound for pound, a house cat 
is one of the most lethal animals you will ever meet. Because when they come out and with everything they've got, they don't just use teeth or a claw or, or claws on the front. They use the front, they use the back, they use the teeth, they can contort, they can drop from tall buildings and, or not buildings, but you know, from a cabinet or the top of a door even and, and twist and land on their feet. So pound for pound, they are formidable and more so than animals that are three, four, or five times their size. Now, I'm not saying that we need to fight at all, no. And I'm not saying react. But what I am saying is understand just how powerful you are. Understand that you don't have to fight because people will feel your strength when you know it and believe it and no one will test you. And if they do, well, then they're just stupid. <clears throat> All right. So uh, this is a call for you not to go do illegal things or anything like that. No, 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 no. This is a call for you to remember who you are because energetically you're pound for pound that formidable being. Energetically and where you put your thoughts you are as strong as anything or anyone. Okay. All right. So for some of you, this will mean physically, but I really fully believe this is all, again, I'm reading the energy. So this is an energetic reading. This is also a general reading, and I'm going to put the caveat out there. It's for entertainment purposes only. And... This is not going to be meant for everyone. Some of you will need to pull back. Some of you will need to cocoon and almost hide for a little while because if you're not ready to stand up and stand strong and say, you know, hey, this, this is who I am and you know how strong you are. If you're not ready to do that, pull back until you are, okay? Um, and this is not a, a, a call for people to do anything crazy or hurt others, okay? I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe in that either um, because there are repercussions. So okay, it's not right. <laughs> okay, sweet little babies. There are so many in this world. There's so many little babies that need help and love. And I mean, little, little animals are animal friends. Okay, so don't let that fool you. She's, she's one of those pound for pound. She can take you down in a minute and not even try. It's, it's amazing what a, what a cat can do. Hmm. All right, so let's get into some other cards. That was a big, long, energetic reading. Um, and I want to restate, if you need to cocoon, then do so. But when I say act, don't react, it's stand in your strength and stand in your power. Okay. All right. Which deck, which deck? This one. All right. The Forest of Enchantment Tarot. Okay, enormous box, reasonably sized deck, which is kind of nice. All right, let's get a message. Mother and Father God, Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit Guides and Guardians, Protectorate. Always call in your protection team, too, if you're unsure or if you're unaware. Just remember how energetically strong you are. And I do worry about people. I worry about you all. I worry that you're going to go out and start physically challenging people. And that's not what I mean at all. But what I do mean is think about where you place your thoughts. Think about where you place your energy. Think about your boundaries. Think about what it is that you believe in. Because I really, truly, in my heart, believe and I can feel it. 
that energetically is the first step to make change and to allow change because change can be scary even when it's something that's that that we need to do it's it's scary all right so okay what was that that came jumping out sunlight the sun card so yeah that's a validation do i need to do more they want me to keep going and look for one more yeah so the sun card that's turning sideways leave it if it didn't come out okay So that is validation. That's validation, that, and that one definitely jumped, that we are moving into a time of, of change and a strengthening of solidarity and in our own energy. All right, and the weaver of visions. And she's reaching up to the sunlight and she look at her her own energy is expanding and moving outward she is weaving and she has fins her emotions are her greatest strength and she's oh she's holding her arms wide out to embrace her light and her energy and the energy of the all that is now she is weaving into reality her thoughts. She is weaving into reality her awareness. She is weaving into reality. And I went ahead, that one card continued to stay further out in the deck than the others. So I went ahead and just picked it up to see what it was. The Green Mother, the Empress. So there's a lot of female energy coming up. And it is truly about just... The energy of the cards not necessarily male or female but in this instance i feel like we're getting ready to move into a time period of the feminine divine we are moving in, oh i yeah um i just heard that very clearly um so the great earth mother she is rising that's what i feel All right, light seers. That's what I'm getting called to. Light seers tarot. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what messages we can get. And this is for Monday. This is going to be specifically for for Monday. This one is going to be specifically for Monday. Monday reading. I know emotions are going to be running high because I just I just got the sense of. You know, it is, a, it is a holiday in America and Canada. I know, I know the Canadian Thanksgiving is at a different point. And I know Thanksgiving carries a ton of baggage, rightly so. And for some people, it's a day of grieving. For some people, it's a day of celebration. For some people, they don't really give a crap one way or the other how it started. They just know that people come together and, and talk about what they're grateful for and eat. So... Um, Whatever it is for you and for people in other countries who don't celebrate it at all, because it's, you know, why would you? Um, <laughs> um, there are going to be unions that are forged that will become even stronger and there will some that will drift entirely apart because we are in a very divisive time right now so those that fall apart were relationships that were crumbling to begin with um but if you need to pull back pull back create your own ceremonies that you do to honor what you need to honor. If you have to withdraw from something, don't feel ashamed or embarrassed to do that. Just say, you know what, I need to take a break this year. Or just make an excuse and say, you know what, I'm not feeling great. I'm going to stay home. Because emotionally, maybe you're not feeling great. Or maybe you have a friend's giving. Or maybe you just say, screw it, I'm going to watch a movie. 
get a pizza or make one. You know what? You do what you do for you. So what is the message for the collective on Monday? This is your week. You make it about you. Let me see what that is. Oh. Yeah. This is what some of you need to do. Just isolate, shelter in place. A shelter in place. That's it. Shelter in place and heal that heart. Someone who has gone through a divorce recently, um, it's a particularly difficult time for you because this ha held no political, this holiday held no political meaning for you or, or the origins of it held no meaning for you, but you were the one who everyone looked to. You were the glue. Let's. You were the glue in the family, but this divorce has really shattered that. All right, these two cards didn't want to come up. Justice. And the lovers. I feel like someone got a divorce because someone was having an affair. The uh, the other person, the person who I'm talking to was not the one having the affair. The spouse was the one having the affair. And so now it's just a really difficult time. Oh, that's mean. So the, the spouse who had the affair is bringing the new person to the family function. You know what? You get some friends together, get a Friendsgiving going, or you just, you make the day your own. You put on a comfy moo moo, some bright red lipstick, leopard print pumps, sit in front of the TV, and you do what you need to do, okay? You do what you need to do to be happy and realize you don't have to put up with that person any longer. The new person's got them because that person never wanted you to age. That person never wanted you to gain an ounce. And this person that they're with is, I think, like half their age. Uh -huh. And they stole away in the middle of the night. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. They're hiding a little, or they tried to hide some money, and I think you found it. Yeah. You are going to be fine. Yeah, you're going to be fine, and you are going to find your place, and your life is going to be very different. Truth be told, I think you may have been getting a little bit, I hate to say this, but a little bit bored with it because you knew you could do so much more. Why do you have to subscribe to those old ways of doing things when you can make your life yours in any way you want? Yeah. All right. Yeah. You are going to leave the past behind. You are going to forge a new path. And for whomever this is for, you are getting ready to strike out with everything you own. You're just taking it with you. And I wouldn't be surprised if you get out of town, take a vacation that leads to something more, something about uh, eco something. You you always had a huge concern for the environment and um, ecology or a fascination with it and your spouse, the, the cheater, was always like, oh, well, you can't do that. And that person needed you there to take care of them, blah, blah, blah. It's not 1950. So you're going you're gonna to break out of that and you're going to take off and say, it's not too late. I can do whatever I want. Sun card again. Second time we've gotten it. You can do whatever you want. Lay the foundation and make the plans. Yeah, walking away. You're getting ready to walk away. And it doesn't have to happen quickly. You get all your ducks in a row. You make sure you have things taken care of. Because now you finally have the freedom to do what you want. Uh, be aware that person may try to come back in when this new situation falls apart because the, the new person is is going to think, uh, uh, well, this is not as fun and glamorous as I thought it was going to be. This is work. You want me to be a housefrau? Screw that because um, this is someone half their age. So when that starts to fall apart, you may get a phone call. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. No, you didn't. You're hungry. Your house needs to be cleaned. Mm -hmm. I know what's going on. So, 
Don't worry about it. You've got things to do. I keep seeing EC, so I know it's eco something, but you could be going to Ecuador as part of this and um, doing something with uh, studying wild, not wildlife, but like the flora and fauna. I know that's really specific. Um, And doing some kind of like activism work to help other people understand it. You may even travel around to different uh, schools or classrooms and talk about the, your findings. Or um, this is someone who uh, I think uh, Jane Goodall was like your idol when you were younger. You read all her books or watched all the documentaries. So. Um, this is your chance to live the life you want, okay? Well, she's just becoming a regular in these readings. I think she's sleepy. All right, so you know what? I think that's enough. Yeah, I think that takes care of it. All right, <laughs> look at that face. She's lethal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So everyone take care. Hmm. Well, and yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm all scattered today. So anyway, you all take care and be well, and we will do this again tomorrow. All right. See you soon. Bye.